Hi, I'm going to explain you how does the Hotlin transform or KF transform is used. The Hotlin transform was the vector of the kind xi equal to a b. These initial values are the coordinates of the points that form the object and in an image or every pixel of the object to analyze. These vectors are represented as x equal x1, x2 to xn. Once obtained all the vectors, we need to calculate the expectation value or mean value. This value determines the centroid of the object. The formula is mx equal to expectation value of x or mx is equal to 1 over n by the sum of x key from x key equal to 1 to n. Next step is to calculate the cover matrix cx equal to expectation value of x minus mx by x minus mx transpose or cx equal to 1 over n by x key by x key transpose from key equal to 1 to n minus mx by mx transpose. Now we have to find the eigenvalues of the covering matrix with the determinant of cx minus lambda i. To calculate the eigenvectors, we use the lambda eigenvalues and replace them to solve an equation system given by cx minus lambda i by b equal to 0. Each equation system returns values that we must group in one eigenvector given by the form ex b1 to bn. The eigenvalues are always related with an eigenvector. Eigenvalue lambda 1 is related to eigenvector E1. The last step is to construct the transformation matrix from our eigenvectors. To do this, we need to order our eigenvalues from highest value to lowest and do the same with the corresponding eigenvectors. Then we place the eigenvectors transposed in a new matrix called A or transform matrix. Let's see an example. Given this image of an arrow, we express every pixel with a number from 1 to 15. First step is to calculate the coordinates of every pixel from x1 to x15. Now we calculate the expectation value or mean value with this formula. And we obtain that the expectation value or mean value is 5, 4.6 that also represents the centroid of the image. Now we have to calculate the cover matrix with this formula. First step is to calculate mx by mx transpose. It's very simple as you can see. Now to calculate x key x key transpose from k1 to n we have to calculate it for every value of the pixels and we obtain for example in x1 this i this vector of this matrix and the sum divided by n we obtain the cover matrix given by 1.3 and 4.7 now we have to calculate the eigenvalues with the determinant of 1.3 minus lambda and 4.7 minus lambda. The determinant gives that 1.3 minus lambda by 4.7 minus lambda minus 0 squared. We have solved it and returns lambda squared minus 4.7 lambda minus 1.3 plus 6.3. That is equal to lambda square minus 6.1 lambda plus 6.3 equal to 0 this is a square function and we can solve easily and result with lambda 1 is equal to 4.7 and lambda 2 equal to 1.3 now we have to calculate the eigenvector from the value lambda 1 equal to 4.7 we subtract the value from the matrix 
1.3 minus 4.7 and 4.7 minus 4.7 by x1 and x2 equal to 0. Solving the equation, we have an equation system that can be solved by substitution in three steps as we can see replacing the variables and we have that x2 is equal to 1 that says that eigenvector 1 is equal to 0 and x2 is equal to 1 this is our first eigenvector now in MATLAB we the MATLAB normalize the values multiplying by 1 over 2 root square that gives us 0 and 0 0.7 next step is doing the same on the eigenvalue number 2 that is 1.3 we do the same procedure as before and we have that the equation system is like this form now solving it we have that x1 is equal to 1 now the eigenvector number 2 is 1 0 but in MATLAB we have then normalize it on 0 0.7 and 0 these are our eigenvectors and now to obtain the transformation matrix you have to transpose them on a new matrix called A that results 0, 0 0.7 and 0 0.7, 0 this is our new transformation matrix now we have to apply the transformation matrix on every value of x with the formula yi equal to transformation matrix of xi minus mx for example in y1 we have the transformation matrix by xi minus mx and gives the result 1.4 minus 2 for every x these are the results and represent in the graphic we have that our arrow is transformed with the transformation matrix another use for the transformation is we can calculate the angle of an object using the eigenvectors we obtained we have the tangent of our first eigenvector gives 0 degrees and the tangent inverse of the second vector is 90 degrees this can be represented as the direction of the eigenvector that we, we can assume that the object is in this direction 90 degrees and 0 degrees this is very useful because we can calculate the direction of an object with the eigenvectors for more information you can see these references and thank you for everybody